Hi everyone, welcome back to Alibari. We are ready to place workers. Do I want my third worker? I'm tempted just because of this building that's going to be going on now. Yeah, I'm going to get my third worker. So we've both got three workers. Which is going to get a bit cramped since there are not that many spaces, are there? So Marty, there's a lot of chai available and he wants to keep first player. So I think he's going to go and keep hold of that. Is he though? No, 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 he isn't. He surely wants to build somewhere beneficial. But he definitely wants to try. Definitely wants to try. I think I'm going to get first, play, first choice of building. Marty definitely wants to do some building. So can't let me have both of those spaces. He sees, you see, yeah, I've, I've got rubble. And I've got rubble discount on stuff. I, I could probably do uh, two builds from there. I'm going to get a contract card since that's going to be tight. And Marty could do some converting for Chai. Or he can just grab the other resource space and kind of starve me out of resources. And so now what do I want to do? That kind of freezes me out a bit, doesn't it? Oh, that was a bad decision. Especially since, you know, I can... I could have gone here as if I'd placed a worker. What terrible worker placement. It's going to be wasteful with Chai, but I can come over here and at least get a steel bar. Which could help me out, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be good. Okay, so Marty... Yeah, unfortunately for me, he's going to... With his first action, he's going to get a Chai and... Yeah, I'll just grab two iron. Just have loads of it. So the chai goes away and goes up there. With his second action, he's going to boost that with chai. So he can take three things, and then he can take two more things, and one of them can be chai again. So that gets him three stone, and he spent a chai to do it, but he's just earned two back, so he's in a better position there. I think almost all of the chai, if not all of it, is now out of the bag. Then over to me, I'm going to spend a chai so that I can convert two iron into a steel. That goes back to the bag. And then, do I want to convert any rubble? I don't think so. I would have to, I would have to convert four of it to get two stone. Maybe I'll just want one stone, though. I get a discount of one stone. Yeah, I'll convert two of it into a stone. And I'll take the stone from the stockyard, so that the... I want cubes to stay in the bag. Now, oh, I could do my I could do my thing here and do an extra build. I could potentially build three things. Can I afford that? I think I can. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do this first. So, oh, this is after all of the build actions. So you play the card first, but then it's after all of the build actions. I get to do another one. I'm going to spend a chai so that I can do an extra build with my main action. So two builds. The first one is going to be spend a steel bar. And I'm going to build here. The reward is get two steel bars. I think I'm going to spend another steel bar as the second build. No, I'm not. I can wait because Marty's not going to do both. I don't think he could do both and get two equipment cards. Just thinking if this is the only place I can build with stone right now. And it gets me my free worker next round. Yeah, I'm going to do that as my second. Spend a stone. And so that gets me four points at the end and my worker next round for free. Marty's next. Does he want to spend a chai? I think he does. He's got so many resources. He surely wants to spend a chai so he can do two builds. Because look at all of this in front of him. And he wants to... He does want to keep that out of the bag, though. So he's definitely going to spend one steel bar to start with on here and getting himself some equipment. So for one steel, he can get... He could get the shunter and pay rubble to get extra workers. Or whenever you build track, get a chai. Or immune to the train maintenance. Nine points and immune to train maintenance. I think, though, yeah. Two rubble to get your extra worker. That's, uh, that's a big deal. He's going to grab that one. And then his second build, he could do that again and get another equipment card just to get them away from me for now. Yeah, yeah, he'll do that. So it's no points, really. Well, it is. It's nine points for the train if he keeps it to the end. He can build there. Get another train, he's going to get the one that's immune to train maintenance, which was the one I was going to get. 
So now, I do my card. So we'll tuck that under there just to show that it's only scoring that matters. I need to get tracks built. So really, I, it's probably good that I hold on to these. So I've got four rubble. I get a two discount on rubble thanks to my construction work gang. So I could afford to go in a six space. So that would be four rubble for four points effectively for me. I don't really want to get another worker. Yeah, that's pretty. That's all I've got really. I, I could I could spend two rubble for two points or four rubble for four points. I think just so I've got some left over. Yeah, I'll just get the two points for now. So that's two rubble, two points, which isn't bad conversion really, is it? So lots of building and then contract card. So what have we got? After all the lay track, you can do a lay track as if you'd placed a worker here. That's have loads of things in the estate for scoring though. Double the excavation rate after bonuses. I think that does want me to do even more track. But I want T estates. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. So I could, I could wait until it's really sunny and the excavation rate is crazy and try and get loads out, but the T estates might have gone by then. So there we go. That was the end of all that. This card goes away. Slide along. Two new ones come out. Sunny. Sunny. Sunny's going to happen. So yeah, do the... So it's foggy this round. Uh, then it's So nothing changes. It's going to be raining. But then, finally, it's going to be sunny. That's probably when I, want, when I want to play my great excavation card. Cubes from the bag. One, two, three, four, five... Marcy wants this sixth one to be an event. Nope. No such luck. And yeah, he kept hold of all of those resources. So my third work of is free this round, thanks to the station space that I built. Marty, though, he's just going to spend... Yeah, he's going to spend two rubble. He, could, he has got a chai to spend, but he's just going to spend the rubble. Because no chai is available this round from here. Marty does have two tea leaves, though. He could uh, go to the last space and convert it if he really wanted some. So Marty's got so many resources, I think he wants the conversion space. But actually, based on what I just took, he's going to go on the contract card space. Oh, 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 he doesn't need to do that. He could... Oh, no, he can't do the... He can't do the space that needs contract card. That needs eight rubble. Just thinking he could steal the contract card before me. Because the contract card that's come out here is, after all of the excavation actions, you can do one for value six. I could play that. And then double the number of rubble cubes plus any other bonuses. If I got both of them, that would probably be bad. And Marty needs to get some contract cards anyway. He's going to go there. I'm definitely going to get my first player marker back. Marty, I think... He could try and get in the way from me getting any iron, but I have got two steel bars anyway. You know that I'm probably not going to do any building. He's going to go in the conversion space. Because, yeah, what am I going to do? My third worker was free. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Let's, let's take the other space then that Marty's left me. And then he'll go on building. But now what am I going to do? I haven't thought about this, have I? My third worker is just going to be wasted. Unless, yeah, I could get equipment. Because I've only got... I've got two rubble cubes, actually. I could just get another free... Work an extra round for a spending one rubble. Yeah, let's go in construction. Because there's no point going there. I've got no tea leaves to convert, and I wouldn't get a tea leaf because the work rate is only half. So, yeah. So I am going to get with my two actions. I'll grab three. Yeah, I'll just grab all of the iron and two stone. So I do get that stone discount. And I get first player back for next round. Marty's going to convert, which will put loads of stuff back in here. He'll put loads of cubes back. Does he want to use his chai to get a better rate? He's got loads of stuff, hasn't he? Yeah, he'll use his chai here. So he's going to get one, two, three steel bars. And then I think he's going to convert two of the stone to four rubble. Because uh, rubble is... is yeah, he's, he'll, he'll convert three of the stone into six rubble. Because... Rubble is needed for construction, and oh, oh, that means he can go into the he can get the contract card away from me. Yeah, so he didn't need to go into the contract card space. Oh dear, never mind. 
So yeah, he did that. He's got no choice now. Building. So does he want to do that now? Does he want to take the contract card away? I think that's a good move. So he's going to spend eight, eight of his rubble to build in Tindaria and get a contract card. He's going to take this one away. And also, that's quite good. Have five tea leaves. Have built in three station spaces. He's built in three already, so that's kind of sorted. And yeah, get a nice excavation action going. And that could even technically be done in the fog, couldn't it? Because mine specifically says about placing a worker. And it's the worker placement spaces that are blocked. Anyway. So he's built. He hasn't got the chai to be able to build twice. I'm going to build. So I could get my worker free just by spending one rubble next round. Get my third worker again. And spaces are going to be available next round. Work rates are going to be rubbish. But... I'll have a chai going in and I'll get my worker. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that's one rubble. Ownership marker goes down. And there are spaces that want you to build in stations, but specifically in rubble spaces. So that could be good for that as well. So I'll get my worker again. I'm not going to spend the chai. I want to save that for next round, even though I could do that stone construction over there. And then Marty is in the contract card business. I don't think he wants one. You now that's a lay track after everyone's had a turn. I don't think he wants a scoring bonus that wants six tea leaf spaces, though. It's possible. You know, he needs five out of these available six, though. So he's going to go for this one, which, yeah, the action. Yeah, I'd never, never do this in a normal game. It's uh, one of the little downsides. There's only a couple of cards in the deck. But yeah, after this card has been played, no other contract cards may be played for the rest of the round. So, yeah, that is what it is. So that's it for all of the actions. This card goes away. And then what's coming out new? Swap the weather disc in the middle position with one of your choice. Ooh. You can make the weather bad again if you really wanted it. Uh, and you want to build in stations and tracks. Uh, immediately take any two cubes from the stockyard. One can be chai. Build in four tracks. And immediately convert iron to steel bars again. And unfortunately, rain is going to be coming up. So... We have rain right now, so these would go down, but they're already at their lowest. The crop rate goes back up, and our actions B and D are now available again. Six cubes from the bag, and yeah, the bag's pretty full up, isn't it? One, two, three. Oh, event is happening, though. So Marty can keep his third worker. And so this tells us that cubes one, two, and three go back in the bag now. So events are more likely. And this is built in stations. Completes the next incomplete station, ignore Siliguri Town. And put game ownership marker. So all it's doing is this one here that was going to be 8 rubble for 5 points. The game has now completed that one. And we cannot do it. Okay then, I think we are ready. I'm first played in. I did, yeah, I just took it back. So what do I want to do? Now laying track, we only get to lay one at a time. Although if you spent char, you could do three. That's still not enough to do the river space where you would recover that chai. And there's only one track laying space, actually. I do want to lay, I want to lay loads of track, though. So I think, I think I do want to go on the track laying space. I do have, I've only got two steel bars. Ugh. So could I, I've got iron, so if I can convert it, that could actually work out nicely. Yeah, where's Marty going to go? He wants to grab that chai away from me. Now, it's a bit rubbish because, yeah, if I, if I go in there, then Marty could take the conversion space. If he took the conversion space, I think that would be a waste for him. So I'm definitely going to go here because I need resources. Although, what's... I don't need resources, do I? I've got stone. It would be a bit wasteful if I could only convert and get one more steel bar, but yeah, it is what it is. Marty. He could get a contract card, couldn't he? Ooh, Marty's going to excavate. He's got a plan to try and take control of two estates. And then for me, let's see, I've got 
I'm going to convert to have enough steel bars. So then I would like to... There's only going to be one more steel there. Assuming that Marty's going to take two iron. He's still got a load of stone. Assuming he's going to take two iron and the child. There's only going to be one iron left, so... Maybe I just want to build. Contract cards want a load more track to be built, but, you know, the actions are really good, aren't they? I'll go for some building. And then Marty... I think, yeah, he'll... Does he want to build? He'll have rubble. Now, Marty's going to get more resources and grab first player back. Okay. So he's basically taking those and those and the first player marker. And then he's going to excavate. He is going to... So he just earned a chai. He's going to spend that chai to increase his work rate by three. And he's going to play this card. So after the excavate actions, he gets to excavate with a work rate of six. So at the moment, that's an, a work rate of five. So he gets that. And then with a work rate of six, after everyone's actions are completed, he gets six things here, which means he's got two more tier states. He's in the lead on tier states now. When an actual full harvest happens, if it ever does, if the sun uh, keeps coming out, then, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking if the excavation rate re reaches all the way, then a harvest will happen. So he'll get loads. If the growth rate goes up as well, he could get loads of tea from that. Although I've got two, so it's not terrible for me. So that's Marty's big plan executed. I'm doing conversion, and I can't spend my chai because I want to spend it on building more track. Really. I think I should have gone about this another way and just built one track this round. Anyway, so yeah, I will convert three into a steel bar. And I don't think I'll do any other conversions. Yeah, seems like a massive waste. I use a chai now, so I get to do the work rate is one plus two from spending the chai. So I get to do three bits of track. It's one steel bar for each bit of track. So that's all of my three steel bars paid. But I do get to construct these three rails so that's nine more points but depending on how many i get built if i can do all of the ones that i need like i've just scored 20 there because i've done two and i've already got the two tier states so potentially if i keep fulfilling these things that could be really beneficial for me and then constructing in a place i'm just going to spend the two stone with my one discount and build over here and i've managed to put more cues back in the bag which is always a good thing for me it's not the end of the game yet, because, yeah, I feel like we're, we're much earlier on in the game than we should be, just because of the terrible weather that stopped us from building any track for ages. Uh, so, new thing there, you get to place an ownership marker on something the game uh, cleared on a tier stage, but you don't get to score it. You do get it for the purposes of harvest and that, but you aren't going to get... Uh, it doesn't count as your ownership marker for the contracts, and you don't get points for it at the end of the game either. So rain has finished happening, sun is happening, then it's gonna rain again, but then sun again. So sun means the excavation rate goes up by two and the track rate goes up by one. So still one, but it's nearly two. And yeah, that's that. So the bag next, and we want six cubes out of here. So two, three, four, five. Six, no events, so Marty does not get a free extra worker. There's still chai in there. I didn't think there was so much. So I don't have a chai, so I'm definitely not getting an extra worker. Marty, as kind of rubble king, he is... He's just going to spend two rubble to get his third worker. So he's still first. He's going to go to get resources first to grab that chai because he can use that chai to boost his excavation. And so the, the work rate is four, four plus three, seven, he would get the next space as well. But what if I went in there? I could clear eight out. But if I cleared eight out, there would be two left there and Marty doing seven means that Marty would get two. So maybe I wanna hold off on that and just let him burn through his chai, just getting one at a time. I'm going to go for a contract card, I think, because I would like another tier state, and the, the scoring for this is four station spaces you have uh, placed rubble on, that you, you know, needed rubble to be able to be built. I've done three of those, 
Three of the four I would need, so great. That's a good one for me. Marty then is going to go on his excavation. But if I don't go on that excavation, so he's going to potentially clear out. He's going to do four or seven, which means I want to piggyback, don't I? Whether I double it or not, I, want to, I definitely want to go there and try and get a tier state because he's armed with loads of resources. He's certainly going to build some track. But maybe, yeah, maybe he saves his chai. For the track building, because he'd get to do three. So for his resources, he is going to get the chai and two iron. Then excavation, what does he do? Just thinking three track is such a, is such a boost. It's really tempting. Oh, 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 oh. What he can do, though? He can play his nasty A card in the A phase and make sure no other contract cards can be played this round. So whatever happens, I'm only going to be able to excavate at the normal rate. So either I'm going to get one and he gets nothing, or we each get one if he boosts his excavation with Chai. But if you boost his excavation, he's only going to get to build one track. He could do three track build in the future, though. And I haven't taken his first player from him again. Yeah, he's going to spend the Chai to take four plus three. He's going to take seven pieces here. So he'll put three back as change there. Takes ownership of another tier state. Another three points. And if he gets cards that want that, which he probably should now, he's got four spaces. Didn't want to need six and he didn't think he'd be able to do it. Uh, so I do mine now. I can't play my card, so I'm just going to get to do four. Uh, so I do three. And then another one here, so I'll put four of mine on there. So I've got five rubble now, and I take ownership of a space as well. Thank you, Marty. And then no converting happening. Track laying, Marty can only do one, because that's the work rate, and he can't. He's got no chai to boost it with. But that does mean he gets a chai from doing a river space. And even though nobody is doing any building this round, that means that all of these three stations are now available to build in, even though Agony Point that I'm pointing to hasn't got any station spaces in it. But yeah, there are a ton more spaces available, especially ones that want rubble. I want to do another one in rubble. Marty's got a ton of rubble to spend. He's got uh, 18 rubble right now. And then, I think, uh, yeah, I wanted this, didn't I? I wanted to take ownership of a tier state space. And that is the end. So I'll sort the contract cards. So we've got harvest in a, in a state of your choice or leave one of your workers where it is at the end of this round. Both want you to do more tracks. And I'm already kind of committed to building five tracks. I've done three of them. It's not terrible. Okay, so weather. It's going to be rainy this round, but it's going to be sunny again in the future. So rain means the work rate comes down, work rate comes down, growth rate goes up one. Six cubes from the bag. There should be a lot of event cubes in here. Three. Five. Six. Oh, one came out. I thought Marty wasn't going to get lucky there. Oh no, I haven't planned for this at all. This is terrible. Oh, did I do all of that building last round? I should see what's coming up. I've left myself with no chai. And no steel bars. This is bad. Train maintenance is here, so everybody has to pay a steel bar or two chai for each piece of equipment they have or they lose it. So unfortunately for me, that means I lose both of my equipment, which also means I lose my uh, discount on building. I can get them back. Marty is loaded up with resources. So this one's immune. We don't have to worry about that. Does he want to give up his steel bars, though? Because he, he was just going to go for track, but he can go for... He would have to go for the track and then the conversion space, though, if he wanted to build more track this round. He will spend... Yeah, he wants to keep all of them. He'll spend two steel bars to keep his equipment. So not only am I not getting my third worker this round, I'm not getting one for the foreseeable future. 
Okay. So Marty's still first player. He wants to, at the very worst, he'll get to lay one track. So he'll go on track building. But he knows I'm not, I haven't got any steel bars, so it's doubtful I'm going there. No new char has come out. Excavation rate is three, so that wouldn't do a space unless you did chai as well. Yeah, Marty's going to go for conversion. I think oh, I need some resources and I want first player. So I get some of these options back. Then... Is a harvest going to happen soon? A harvest... When it's sunny, that'll go up too. In two rounds' time, at, at the latest, there'll be a harvest. A, a full harvest. So I'll get some uh, tea leaves from that. Oh, the next event will trigger a harvest as well. Could potentially get a few of them. Where do I, where where's Marty want to go? So excavating, unless he's doing both, that's not a great thing to do. I think he's going to grab a contract card because the harvester tier state of your choice. He's got all of them on this tier state. That would be perfect. Then I will go for. I'm going to have a few resources. I've got some rubble though. I've got five rubble, but I haven't got my disco anymore. I could go for double the cubes, because there's only, there's only two bits on this estate left. But if I just wait until next round, I'll be able to take eight, which is all of them. But I'm not first player. I'm going to be first player. So yeah, I'm going to wait on that. So getting a tea leaf seems like a waste. Well, there's, there are spaces that I can build with five rubble. Yeah. I'm going to go on build. Or I could go on lay track just to... So Marty's going to go and build track, because he's going to have that plus three bonus. So yeah, I'm going to get first player from this, and I will just take... I've already got one iron, but yeah, if, I, if, I get in, if I've got four, then if I can pay chai, then I can get the discount on it. Marty can't pay the chai because it's spoken for, so he is going to do two of his three conversions on steel bars there. This is putting loads of cubes back in the bag, unfortunately. Because Marty could, yeah, he could just sit on that for ages and just have loads of stuff out. Uh, and he's got so much rubble right now. He could, he's going to do one, yeah, two rubble for a stone, and he will take it from the bag to try and take some stuff back out of the bag. And he can just save that for now. Yeah, the, the inside of the bag right now is a very irony place. There's still a chai in there. What? Uh, okay. Track. This is where Marty spends his chai. So he's going to do three pieces of track. He's got three pieces of steel bar. And so I need three markers, please, Marty. There we go. There, there, there. I'm doing some building, apparently. I've got five pieces of rubble. What can I build? So where is it? It's just, it's just these two places, isn't it? So two rubble for two points again. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So I'll get three change. And I've now done all of my rubble spaces that I need. So that is... Oh, should I? Yeah, in B, I might as well, just in case a harvest happens, in B, let's say that I activated my card... And I take ownership of just, let's say, this one. And so I get no points for that, and it can't count towards any contract cards. But when the harvest happens, I've got an extra tier state now, which means we're even, doesn't it? Okay. Marty wants a contract card, apparently. So leave one of his workers where it is, and that could happen this round. He could, he could trigger that this round, or... Oh, no, he wanted the tier state one, didn't he? Yeah, and he can still... Because we're in F, he can trigger that now, which he's going to do. Is he? It means he only gets three. Does he want to wait until the rate goes up a bit? But when's the rate going to go up? It's only this that's going to affect it. Nobody's got a contract card that does it. It's only this that's going to affect it, and there's going to be a harvest before that anyway. He's just going to activate it right now. So, uh, harvest from a state of his choice is going to choose this one, which means he gets three more tea leaves. And the growth, the crop rate gets reset back whenever there's any kind of harvest. The game is not over yet, although we're, we're more than halfway now on the tracks. I'd say we're coming up to the close of the game. 
because it's going to keep being sunny. This work rate's going to increase when that happens again. That's going to build a few bits of track. Although, eh, we're probably not that close to the end. So new cards. Uh, you can treat three iron ore as if it were a steel bar. And convert rubble straight into stone. That, that's not bad because it only wants tea leaves to fulfill its uh, points. For weather, it's sunny right now. So work rate is five. Track rate is one. And it's going to be rainy in a couple of rounds time. Sunny again next round though. Out of the bag, we need six cubes. I'm not going to be able to do this on the board soon. Am I? We're gonna, I'm going to be knocking uh, our spaces over. Uh, no events. So no harvest just yet. And I'm first. So I wanted to do some excavation, didn't I? Yeah, I wanted to make sure I was first on excavation. There's no chai to lose out on either, so that makes that a little bit better. I think Marty would like to convert all of his leaves to some chai. So he's going to go over there. As for me, would I like a contract card? Would I like some more iron? I don't have any bars, so I can't lay track. I've got three rubble, which doesn't get me any building. So, yeah, let's go for some resources. I want to keep first player as well. So I'll go there. Marty. Marty can do some construction. He's not going to have Chai to boost it, but he can do... Like, he could either get nine points for four of his stone, or he could just... Yeah, he, he could just do rubble. And then the stone isn't going back into the bag. Yeah, he'll do some building. Okay, so for me, I keep first player, and I'm going to grab three iron. Then I'm going to do excavation. I'm going to play my card to double the work rate. This is where Marty should probably have saved his uh, card for. Uh, so I am doubling the work rate of five to ten. Unfortunately, I can't do ten, so I just do what I can. So I take all of that, and I've got two more tier states. So now I've got cards that want two, and I've got three, five. So unfortunately, that one wants four more. So I would have to do a one or the other situation if I took that card. I'm not taking a card this round, though, so that's, uh, that doesn't matter. Zoom all the way over here, unless nobody's got any cards to use, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, did Marty, by the way? Marty could have... Um... Yeah, it would be silly not to. Marty could have spent two rubble, couldn't he? To get his worker. I'm forgetting about that. I'm just thinking of it like, if an event comes out, he doesn't get his worker. Where would he have placed it? It would be last placement anyway. He could have got some resources. Excavating, he would have known that wouldn't happen. Doesn't want to do any converting. Maybe he just wants another contract card. Yes, he does. Yeah, he's going to get a contract card. So where are we in resolving this? Marty's building. He wants to build somewhere rubbly. So I think the best thing... Five points for six pieces of rubble. Five points for four pieces of rubble. Oh, we can't go there just yet. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. So six bits of rubble for five points. Then... You know, built, contract card. He's going to grab this one that lets him leave a worker out, and if he can build three more pieces of track, that's going to be an extra 24 points. Then... He is going to do some converting. He's going to do four of his five tea leaves into Choi, because that's the maximum he's allowed. And then he's going to play his card, leave one of your workers in their action space at the end of the round. They will take that action next round. Anticipating a harvest, because a harvest is definitely happening because of the sun. No two ways about it. He's going to stay there, because the theory is he will have loads of chai. He can burn through it and then convert it all to chai again, so he'll have a load of tea leaves. So that's the one he'll leave there. New weather card comes out. It's uh, You can treat the track work rate as one more than it is. Have four leaves, have built in four stations for 19 points. Uh, yeah, the weather is turning again, isn't it? So we have sun this round, though. So this one goes up one, so two track with one action right now. But a harvest is now triggered. And that, that slides back down to there. So everybody has... Marty has four. He's getting four leaves, so I'll just give him a big five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six for me. So it's unfortunate I'm not going to be able to use the converting space. Because I have no chai. Marty, though... 
he will use rubble, I think, to keep hold of his extra worker. Two rubble there. Or does he? Yeah, yeah. Because Marty kind of wants to hold on to the leaves. He's already committed to having seven leaves for these contract cards. Oh, actually, yeah. Because one stays out there. He needs to pay for his extra one, so he's got two to place. So for me, I don't have any chai. Oh, we haven't done the bag yet, have we? Done the cards and the weather. So I'm hoping for a chai. There's only one in this entire bag, isn't there? So it's unlikely. Two events, though. So let's... Sort this out. So first up, we have track laying and tea harvest. So track laying, the work rate is two. So the game is going to build those two. And then for harvest... Everything stays as it is, because that's already reset. It's the same again. So Marty gets four. And I get six. So I could get loads that want tea leaves right now. There is one out there that wants... Have I got four more station spaces? How many have I built on? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, and I'd be able to do that one. That's probably a good contract card for me. Uh, anyway, another event is happening. So this is tier states, but there's nothing for it to do. What it does do, though, is return these cubes back to the bag and kind of clears out the stockyard a little bit, kind of rebalances things out. So we can only have seven iron and four stone in the stockyard. So I'll, uh, I'll put some of those back in the bag. That only happens, by the way, your second time around. It doesn't happen in the very first one. It only happens if the event cube clearing happened when you're cutting down the stockyard. So for me... I'm kind of thinking end game points and that this contract card is going to be very good for that. So I'm going to go for contract card. Marty is... He's got no steel bars or anything, has he? He wants to be thinking about getting some stuff. He's going to go and grab first player away from me. Actually, I am almost forgetting something. When the last space is excavated, the B action changes to an E action and basically this this is um this is bigger than it seems because you know the only way to get rubble now is to convert to break stone down into rubble and any cards that we might have left over we haven't got any incidentally but any cards that are going to come out that have actions that take place in the B phase now may as well not have an action on them because there is no B phase there is an E. That, that E is resolved first, so it's, it's done in order still. But yeah, there's, there's no B to activate if uh, your cards rely on it. So it's me to place next, isn't it? I've got, I've got all of this iron. I've got two, four, six, seven iron. I'd really like some chai so I could just uh, convert that into a load of steel bars. Yeah, and I'm not going to get to convert to chai. Because Marty was allowed to just leave his worker there. I'm not first next round though, so Marty could get in first on the conversion. Even though he doesn't really need it himself. Yeah, I want two more pieces of track to be built. So yeah, I'm going to convert. It's a bit wasteful still. And then Marty's got three workers. He is just going to load up for now, I think, on... What does he want? Three... He's built in three station spaces, hasn't he? No, he hasn't. He's nearly done everything else, though. He needs three, four, seven spaces. So he's done three track and he needs to do seven. That's a bit worrying. But yeah, he's going he's gonna to just load up on resources. Because he can get... Oh, he wanted to spend all of his chai, though, didn't he? Yeah, maybe it was a bit of a waste. It's good for blocking me that he's there still. Yeah, he'll, he'll stay there, though, and boost this all with chai, so he'll get loads of resources. So he's going to get... He's going to boost both of these actions with chai. So he's getting 10 cubes. So almost the entire stockyard has now been emptied out by Marty. Uh, seven iron and uh, three more stone for that. Wow. So I'm coming over and doing a, a little meager conversion. 
I might as well do two rubble into a stone, just because I'm here. Uh, I will take it from the stockyard, not the bag. And two steel bars from the iron, which does, like, if I get those two built, then that fulfills my track laying obligations. And I want this, don't I? I want this for its, rather than particularly for its action, I want it for its scoring. But its action could be good, especially if the work rate, the work rate's about to go down. So yeah, that's going to be good to build two tracks in one go. Yes. It's not a waste. Just keep convincing yourself that you haven't wasted your action. So Marty is going to, he could get one more tea leaf, but he's going to convert. So he's got four chai again. Because he's got seven leaves, which is all he needs to uh, do his contracts. So he's fine with that. Okay then, check for the game end. Not yet. New contract cards are the one I got. Ownership marker have built in five station spaces that wanted rubble. And this one is draw the top two cards from a contract deck. You can keep this card or one of the cards that you drew. I want you to do a few different things for some points. Uh, the weather, it's not sunny anymore. It is rain as far as the eye can see, unfortunately. So excavation rate down, track rate down, crop rate up. So not all bad. And then we have six cubes from the bag three six no events actually marty didn't need to pay anything last round did he did he pay something last round there'll be a there'll be a subtitle if I, i'm sure he paid two rubble when he didn't need to pay anything because events happened so marty he's going to pay for his third worker so the two rubble so balances out now doesn't it now, I think he waits on track lane because he can jump in on track lane first and just hope that I wouldn't then go for converting. Because if I, if I could go in converting just to spite him, and that would mean he couldn't do any track laying. So we would both kind of waste an action. So I think he'll just wait on the track lane because he can always just do it next round. He does want to make sure he can convert, though. So he's going to go there. I am going to go on track building. Marty, does he go on chai again? Just to stop me from doing it. I think it would be a waste, though. It, he would get to boost his actions. Oh, he does want to spend chai on that action. And he would do it on another action that he did. Maybe it's worth just topping it all up and just relying on another harvest happening before the end of the game. It might not, though, and he doesn't want to be sure on leaves. He's going to hold off for now. Maybe he'll do it next round. It is leaving it open for me. He could do a build, though, couldn't he, with all of this stuff that he's getting. He could do some multiple builds. He wants to hold on to his first player and get more resources, which he can then convert you know, unlimited. Maybe he just gets loads more resources and just does a big, massive conversion. I've, no, I haven't already placed. I am placing on the chai space. Then Marty is, yeah, he's going to load up on resources. Although he could just spend chai, couldn't he, to take five things. And then he could use his worker to do building. Yeah, he's going to do that. So he'll spend chai to take five things. It's going to be four iron and a rubble. It does mean he's building before, he doesn't need the steel boss for building though. So he can build. He can build again if he spends a chai. So he's got six rubble there. Yeah, he'll spend a chai to do two builds. And he'll spend his... Will he spend his rubble? Well, he can spend... No, oh, that isn't built yet, is it? I'm about to build this. Oh, what if... Yeah, what if, knowing that he was placing last, what if he just waited until then to do his builds? That's way better, and then he'll have converted. Yeah, so he'll do the conversion. He'll spend a chai. Yeah, that's him spending a chai. And so how many things can he get here? One, two, three, four, five steel bars. And then he's going to convert all of this to rubble. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be 12 rubble. Then I'm doing my track laying. I'm using my sad little card 
to boost its power by one, so I get to lay two tracks. I've got my two rails. So one, two, and I get myself a chai for building in a river space. Unfortunately for me, though, Marty is going to spend a choice so he can build two things. I've just unlocked these two spaces that are quite lucrative for points. So for just three rubble here, Marty can get himself five points. That's just a given. And he was gonna... Yeah, I think this is good. Is he going to spend four stone to get a contract card? No, I think he's just going to do... He's just going to do more rubble stuff, I think. Five rubble for six points. Over here. There we go. That is why he kept this four stone. But he, I haven't got any stone, and he could get nine points for this four stone. So... Uh, oh, I'm last. I'm going to spend three of my tea leaves to boost myself up the chai track. And then that's it. Round isn't over yet, but there are only th three more pieces of track before the end of the game. And two events time is track building. We, we may not be very far off. And Marty's just got loads of steel bars, so it could end next round. So new round. It is still raining. So down excavation, down track, up on the crop. It's going to be sunny if the game is still going in two rounds time. From the bag. Now, yeah, two, if, uh, if a track gets laid by the, the game, that's, uh, that's something away from Marty, so I wouldn't be opposed to that. Six cubes out of the bag, no events. So Marty is going to pay two rubble to get his third worker, because I think this is going to be the last round. So Marty is still first. Yeah, he's definitely first, isn't he? He, took, he had both of the resource spaces. Or he had one of the resource spaces. I can't remember. He's first, I think, anyway. So he definitely wants to lay track. And yeah, he's going to lay the three that are going to end it. I definitely want to get a contract card. Yeah, I think that's a better move than building more. Is it? It's kind of a gamble. I could build two more times, but I don't think I've got the resources to build twice more. I can be sure I would get five extra points if I build four times this round. Or I can go on there, clear these out, and hope that I get something beneficial. Do I take the gamble? I take the gamble, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm going to get a contract card. Marty is going to build, surely. Which means, yeah, I, I probably, I want to build first. Yeah. Just thinking, if, if, if the contract card is a gamble, surely you want, you want the sure thing of building first. So then Marty is going to build. Or does Marty want to get the contract card? Can he do a contract card? Is he doing his ones already? He needs to do three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, and he's about to do three. So, yeah, he can do... He's, he's done the track. Build in three station spaces. One, two, three. Yep, fine. Have seven tea leaves. That's where he's been saving these. So he's done that. Two tea estates is done. Yeah, he's, he's completed all of his contracts. Is there a contract he could get here? He hasn't got any more tea leaves. Has he... He hasn't built in many station spaces at all, has he? He's only done four. So no, a contract space wouldn't benefit him. So he will go for building. So do I go for a guaranteed five or gamble for more than five points? Hoping that I have achieved whatever comes out on these contract cards. And Marty might take these rubble spaces away and they might not even be there. Although surely he would, with his loads more rubble, surely he would go and build in the bigger point spaces. And it's costing you points to clear out the contract cards. I'm just going to build. Play it safe. And be boring. Marty, more resources aren't going to help him at the end. None of the contract cards out there help him. So what's he going to do? He could get himself a tea leaf, which is another half a point at the end. You know what? I think that's what he's going to have to do. He 
if he's short two rubble, then yeah, maybe he'll take back having that extra worker. So I'm building. I'm going to spend a chai. I've got loads of chai. Better chai to do it twice. I am going to go in this space here. Now, with, with Marty holding on to all of his... Oh, I've only got one marker. You're not allowed more markers. Okay, then, so I do risk it and go for a contract card space, and so Marty would have gone on building. Yeah, I've, you, you, didn't, you don't get more markers. So the best space for me... Have I done my four rubble spaces? One, two... Three. Oh no. So four rubble spaces is nine points. So if I go in, what's the best rubble space on the board for points? I could get five points from here. So five points from here and nine from the card is 14 points, which is better than the 12 I would have got for the tea leaves. Oh, I was so excited. I did not realize how few markers I had left. Yeah. So I'm not spending Chai to build twice, which is going to be more points in Chai at the end. And so Marty is building tracks. He is spending Chai to build three tracks. He's got five steel bars, so that's fine. And so, yeah, he's got loads of markers. If I had steel bars, I could have got equipment back, which would have been nice, but I don't. So he's doing that. He gets a ch Oh, he gets a Chai back, so he could potentially do three builds. If he's got the resources to do it. He oh he's only got two cubes though. So where uh, two ownership markers. So no he isn't. Okay then, so two builds for Marty. The best for points is surely gonna be four stone for nine points over here. And then the best thing other than that is four points, isn't it, for rubble? Yeah. He doesn't want to spend the things that are gonna get him points, even though. Three leaves for 12 points. It's so good. He hasn't got any spare leaves, though. We've already established that contract cards aren't going to help him. So, yeah, he'll go for... Yeah, four rubble for four points is the best rate out there. You know, it doesn't matter. Your, your leftover resources aren't worth points. Or... No, 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 no. So that's not the best rate, is it? The best rate, nine points is the same as a train. The... The Oh, but this has got Chai on it. So probably Marty's got Marty has got Let's think about this another way. So Marty's got his four stone, right? If he'd spent the Chai to do an extra build, and the build was getting equipment that had Chai on it, that is sixteen juicy points and another Chai. So for his second build, he can get another one. Oh. So this already provide this provides one each of your contract cards with T. Is that gonna be good? Yeah, he can grab that for his last steel bar, and then Spend the chai to do another build with his second worker. And so now, now he's got two tea leaves spare, but the best rate you can get for two tea leaves is just five points. So he's better off spending resources that aren't worth any points at the end. So now he'll spend the four... Yeah, the four rubble for four points. That's the same as spending... As getting five points for the two leaves, actually. Anyway, it's going to work out. I think... That has surely guaranteed it for Marty. It depends what comes out here for me. So I think instead of clearing them out, I have a spare tea leaf. I have spare station spaces I've built on. I think this is better than having just the one track card for four points. Use that one track on this one instead, along with the two, the two stations and the tea leaf, and I'm effectively getting 13 and a half points because the tea leaf would have been worth half a point. I think that's better than gambling because it spends two points just to gamble. And I don't even know if the next three... Let's see if it would have been worth it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, yeah, it would have been worth it. Because that would have been worth... That would have gotten me an extra point. And maybe pooling all of the track cards into like a, a 40 or a 54 would have been worth it. We'll never know though. I'm not doing that maths now. I've got a contract card. I'm happy with it. I don't get to use its power. 
because you do it at the beginning of a phase and it happens in F, because I would have gotten to draw two and decide if one was better. But this is going to be the last round now, and everybody's had their action, so it is time for me to go and find a pen. Here we go, Cabana Bay's finest. So, who has won this Battle of the Juggernauts? So, uh, Darjeeling, by the way, is a special station space. Your reward is, at the end, you your chai is tripled, and in a game with more players, there's a double space as well. Uh, you can't go past the maximum still, and it, it's just like you know, if you had one chai at the end of the game, it would be tripled to three, and you would get a little more. You would get some more points in a game with more players, and the track goes higher. You know, if you had two, you would suddenly have six now, and it would be worth twelve points. So that could be a really cool space, and you would still have gotten to spend chai to get yourself down there. Uh, yeah, not 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 so amazing in a game with two players. But, you know, maybe you really, really need chai. Maybe you've got the thing that gives you two extra points per chai at the end of the game. It depends on your situation, doesn't it? So first of all, we look at our markers on tier states and station spaces. So I've got three, six, nine. I don't score that one because I took it with a contract card. 10, 11, 17, 21, nothing there. 23, 29. 31, 36 is mine. Marty got 5, 7, 10, 11, 15, nothing, 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 20, 30. So just ahead so far, track spaces. I built 3, 6, 9, 12, 16. And Marty got 4, 8, 12, 16, 19, 22, 26. So yeah, he's in the lead now by 4, is it? Next up, we have your cards for pretty much everything. Your cards for everything except the one that gave, gives you, you know, two extra points per chai that you have. So for this, because you have now scored all of your discs, basically, you can now take your discs off to make sure you're not, you're not allowed to double dip, basically. You can, so I've got two T spaces there, two off track spaces there. I've got two T leaves for there. Two more from track spaces for there. I need station spaces that were for rubble. So that one, that one that one where's the other one i just did one didn't i there we go i was panicked then that i'd worked it out wrong four other four that can come from any anything on stations and that's it i don't have a disc oh i've, I've got a, what did i do more oh no i need a oh i haven't i haven't built in enough stations to do this this was a waste of an action Oh well, so maybe, it, maybe, is it still worth it to swap it instead of, no, because I would have to not do this. Never mind, that's just me working it out wrong. So I'll put five on that and just take one off here. Never mind. Yeah, I, need, I needed more discs. I did have it when I had the discs worked out in my head, but it turns out I didn't have that many discs. So couldn't I have, what if I took this instead then? This was here. Yeah. If I worked things out properly, then I had a track space there. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not doing that, am I? I'm doing that. So I'm still getting the 14 points, and I don't have any T left over. That's actually quite nice. So that's all of my stuff. So I'm not scoring that one. So I've got 25, uh, 34, 49, 59, 68, 78, 82 from contracts. Wow. Then Marty... He just wants two from tier states and one from track. Two tea leaves and two from track. Five tea leaves and three stations. Two, three. Uh, one from track and then three more from track. Which, yeah, he's done all of that. So he's got himself 24 plus 23. So that's 47. 57, 65, 76. They're quite close, actually. I think he's, uh, he's just dropped behind a little bit now, hasn't he? 
Uh, nobody had that card that scores extra for Choi. Half a point for your tea leaves that are spare. None of us have got spare tea leaves. And then it's your chai track and, you know, the dodge healing space boosts where you are on your chai track. Marty ended up with none. I ended up with six, actually. Yeah, it's because I didn't have any markers, did, is it? So I, I didn't use it. So there we go for that. Finally, equipment. Oh, Marty's going to pummel me here, isn't he? Knowing that maintenance wasn't happening, he was free to just hoover up all of this stuff. Oh, actually, Marty has got some spare, hasn't he? Because he's got the thing that uh, gives you one back for each thing. So technically, he has got a point from his tea leaves because he would have two spare thanks to his discount. Nothing here affects endgame stuff, does it? No. But he's got 9, 18, 27, 36, 52 points on equipment. And thanks to train maintenance, I had zero. So what's this work out at? You can see my slow maths now without editing. So what's this? 36, 46, 52, 54, 134, 140. Yeah, it looks good now, doesn't it? But wait until we see Marty's. So 76 and 26 is, that's 102, isn't it? 132, 133, 185. Thanks to, yeah, just loads of, getting loads of steel bars, using Chai really, really well, charging it up. And even though we were kind of, Stuck at the beginning without much track game built and kind of stuck in this area. We made the most of it and got the TS states out early and everything. But yeah, there we go. Marty screams ahead with a ridiculous amount of equipment. Five out of the seven pieces that are available. So that is Alubari. If you'd like to know what I think about it, then that's coming up now. If you'd like to see more from Tony Boydell, there's Foothills. There's two playthroughs of Snowdonia. Uh, there'll be a playthrough of Lux Eterna coming up at some point. Maybe that'll be there by the time you watch this. Thank you very much for watching, though. If you'd like to help me keep making playthroughs, again, it's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. You get to vote on them as well and get involved, see playthroughs early, all sorts of stuff. It would be massively, massively appreciated because they genuinely do keep these things coming. Thank you for watching, though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone. <laughs>